Hey folks, this is Gabe with Security Brand, and sometimes I have different moods. Sometimes I'm feeling a little, you know, purple, or maybe a little green, or even at times some might say a little blue, but today I'm checking out a bulb that purports to cover all my colors, the TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi LED Bulb. In today's review of the TP-Link Smart Bulb, we're gonna go into its design, its feature set, the installation experience, and its mobile application, the Casa app, to make sure you have all the information you need to make the right decision. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite smart bulbs, Google security brand best smart bulbs. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. So let's kick off today's review of the TP-Link Smart Bulb, checking out its design. Now the design, you know, is something you've probably seen before with your A19 shape, but there are some distinctions. Like while the bottom has that metal piece that we're used to, right above that you kind of have this nice purple element, and right above that you'll see this almost eggshell design. Um, it looks almost like a golf ball. And one thing I want to note is that it has that same hardy, uh, substantive feel of a golf ball. This is actually quite heavy when it comes to, uh, to bulbs. And it has a TP-Link logo. And you'll note that the actual bulb itself looks a little bit different than your typical incandescent bulb. While they're both gonna give you the equivalent of 60 watts uh, in terms of what they're giving off, uh, this is gonna be significantly less in terms of energy that is actually taking from your home. And your savings are gonna really add up over time uh, because of that. Now, you'll also note that the surface area is just that much less because it's just an LED bulb, uh, so it doesn't need all of that space to give off light that you're accustomed to. And it's just gonna be your typical 800 lumens that we've seen with a lot of the smart bulbs on the market. This is one of my favorite designs for any of the smart bulbs that we've seen here at Security Brand. Now that we've gone over the design of the TP-Link Smart Bulb, let's talk about its feature set. Now right off the bat, I wanna say that you have a remarkable range of temperature when it comes to your whites with the TP-Link Smart Bulb. You're talking 2,500 to 9,000 Kelvin, which is significantly more than we've seen with other smart bulbs on the market. On top of that, you've got the full RGB color range. So we can go from crimson to salmon to teal uh, to aqua. You're really gonna get the colors that you want for any particular scene that you'd like. So what is a scene? Well, we can set up scenes with our TP-Link smart bulb. And by that I mean, maybe you have a certain dimness level and a certain color for whenever you watch a horror movie in your home because you don't want it to be completely dark. That's just a little bit too much, but you don't want it to be too much light to preserve that feeling of dread from your favorite horror flicks. Well, you can just set that up, tap on it each time you're watching a film, and boom, that exact dimness and color comes into your room. So overall, really big fans of that element. Now in terms of schedules, uh, you can set it up to even be on the circadian calendar so you can rise with the sun itself. Uh, I personally like that. I like knowing exactly when the sun is rising and if my lights can help me with that, well, all the better. So in terms of scheduling, that's an option. And if you would like to even go beyond your scenes and schedules, you can even set up your TP-Link smart bulb with other devices and bulbs in the Casa Smart app. Now, beyond that, you have the ability to set up a host of home automations and routines using Amazon, Google, IFTTT, Microsoft. It even coordinates with your Nest products. So overall, we're pretty big fans of the feature set on the TP-Link Smart Bulb. Well, hold on. I hope you're enjoying today's review of the TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi LED Bulb. If you want to be kept up to date on the newest in smart bulbs, smart plugs, and smart home security, subscribe to our channel, Security Baron. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now that we've gone over the design and feature set for the TP-Link Smart Bulb, let's talk about that installation experience, which is honestly quite easy and straightforward. You're gonna to wanna to go to your mobile device, download the Casa app, and make sure you're on your home's network, the same network that you'll be on for your TP-Link Smart Bulb. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug in 
your smart bulb. And notice, I'm just plugging in the smart bulb. Uh, there's no hub around. Um, don't have to fiddle with that. Make sure that's connected to a router. I'm just directly putting in the bulb uh, into my lamp. And from here, you're gonna go to the mobile app. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a plus sign. You'll tap there, tap add device, pick bulb. And from there, it'll walk you through the installation process. You'll put your TP-Link smart bulb on your home's Wi-Fi and you're ready to go. Uh, considering this is hubless design, uh, you're gonna be done with the entire process in fewer than three minutes. So overall, it's a really straightforward, easy process of setting up your TP-Link smart bulb with the Casa app. Now I wanna delve into the mobile app for the TP-Link smart bulb, the Casa app. Now, this is where you're gonna be doing most of your interfacing with your bulb, uh, especially if you're not doing it with your voice. And fortunately, people seem to be loving their experiences with the Casa app, where it has a 4.7 in the Google Play Store and a 4.8 in the Apple App Store, which is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone 7 Plus. Here I am checking out the TP-Link bulb in the Casa mobile application. Now, it's a pretty good looking app and you get that remote functionality out of it. I mean, look at here on the top, you have the Baron TP-Link bulb. Of course, I've named it the Baron TP-Link bulb and I can just turn it off just by tapping on that home page on the far right where that green power button is. Turn it off and turn it back on. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into the app. So I'll tap on Baron TP-Link bulb and there you can see the brightness level is 94% and you can see that I already have a schedule set up. And now I'm in the actual bulb. Now the first thing you see is the power. Um, I've already turned it off and on from the home page. So let's move over to the brightness level. Now the brightness level is on like a semi-circle wheel. So I can turn it all the way down 1% and turn it all the way back up to 100% just using my thumb. Now, the next part over is the white. And here you can look at your Kelvin level. So you can go from 9,000 Kelvin to 2,500 Kelvin. And this gives you a different warmth uh, and tone in the room. Now, the final thing you'll note on that bottom uh, spectrum is color. Now, color allows you to just go in and change the colors as you see fit from red to green, to blue, to like a magenta, purple, pinkish color. Now below that, you'll note that you have a few different options. You have presets, uh, which allow you to change the preset. So I've changed my white preset to 73%. I could change my red preset to more of a pink. So now you see here, I've changed it to more of a pink. I can even change my green preset here. It's down to 40%, so there's a few different options. Now, the thing I like about setting up a light bulb is schedules. So if I want, I see here, I've set up two schedules, one for the morning to kind of give me that early morning, not too bright, it's at 50%, uh, and it's 7.50 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I also wanna make sure it turns off. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I turn it off at 5.54 p.m. If I wanted to add more, I go to this plus button, in the top right hand corner. And you see here, there are different options. I can set bulb to circadian or last on date, or I can just decide on a color like blue. And I can say, I'm gonna have this turn on every day at 12.30. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and voila. Now I have it turning on at 12.30. If I wanna turn off this particular scheduling element, I can just toggle it off by tapping on the right side. Now the final thing from this part of the mobile application uh, by CASA is the usage. Now the usage is interesting because here it tells you the time, so how long you've actually been using it, uh, the energy that's been used, and it gives you energy savings. Uh, so it tells you how much you've saved today and how much you could predict to save yearly. Uh, and you can go look at the daily average for the past seven days, um, the daily average for the past 30 days, and then you can go check out your settings. And your settings here, you have your name and icon. Once again, this is the TP-Link bulb. I've called it the Baron TP-Link bulb. You can look at your default states on from the app, on from the power source, or the device info. Now you'll note here that we initially set this up uh, in April. Um, now we've gotten already to August. Uh, I've done some experience with the TP-Link bulb, and we're in the New York time zone. So overall, uh, I'm a pretty big fan of this app, and you have to actually go back 
to the home page to set up the final element, which are scenes. So if I wanna go into scenes, uh, you'll see here I have one called good morning. So I tap on that, changes my light. And then another one I've called red, which is pretty straightforward. Just changes my light bulb to red. I can create any scenes that I'd like. I can create a new one. I can make a movie night, uh, which is pretty straightforward. It dims my light. You can pick an icon for popcorn and it's called generic movie. But let's call ours movies with the rock. So now we've set up the scene called movies with the rock and I can control that with my voice or I can control it right here in the app. So you see here, it turns it all the way down. Let's go back to good morning. Now, speaking of controlling it with your voice, let's go ahead and check out what you can do with the Amazon Smart Platform. So now let's say that I turn off the TP-Link bulb just using my hands in the Casa mobile application, but I would like to turn it back on just using my voice. I can say, give me light. So that's actually able to set that up in the Amazon app. So you'll see here, I can go into the app, go to Baron TP link bulb. I can actually do a lot of the same things I do in the Casa mobile app right there. Um, in terms of changing the brightness, I can set the color, crimson, orange, or gold. But the interesting thing I can do is actually create a routine. So here I have a couple of routines already set up uh, in terms of the give me light routine. I also set up a routine where I actually turn the lights down just by using my voice. So if I wanted to change this to 25% brightness, I would just say, turn the lights down low. And now I've actually changed the brightness uh, just with that routine that I've created. So overall, I'm really impressed with the custom mobile application and its simplicity and the ability to go into and set up various routines. All right, so we've gone over all the elements that make the TP-Link smart bulb what it is today. And you wanna know, Gabe, is this the right smart bulb for me? And honestly, I have to say, probably. I mean, I'm even finding it hard to critique uh, anything about the TP-Link smart bulb. I really enjoyed my experience over the past couple of months using it. Uh, one thing to note is that just as a bulb, it's bringing a lot to the table. It has that nice wide range of temperature for whites. It has the full RGB color spectrum. And in terms of using it on your phone, well, the mobile application Casa app has phenomenal reviews. It's doing so well uh, in terms of people in the Google Play and Apple App Store. The final thing I'll mention is that you're getting all this for under $30. So sure, there are more affordable bulbs out there, but do they gonna bring everything that this bulb brings to the table? Probably not. So overall, I'm a big fan of the TP-Link smart bulb and think it could really bring a lot of utility to the lamps around your home. So that concludes our review of the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi LED bulb. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and uh, hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe with Security Baron. Be secure.